Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the fifth lecture of uh, this lecture series on bioenergy. So, as of now in the last four lectures, <coughs> which essentially being our eight weeks of course, in the first four lectures we have talked about uh, basic uh, concept of energy and how energy rules the global economics. Then we talked about the different uh, forms of consumable electricity or consumable energy whether it is in the transportation sector, industrial sector, domestic se sector. We talked about different sources of energy, then we talked about the specific niche of bioenergy in the spectrum of different forms of energies. After we talked about how India can exploit its uh, bioenergy resources in order to attain energy independence in the global energy economics of the world. From there we talked about uh, the different uh, energy conversion units or different energy calculation units and how different thermal energy could be equated to electrical energy. Similarly, electrical energy is equivalency to the oil energy and likewise and so on and so forth. From there we talked about the basic concept of bioenergy and how photosynthesis and chemosynthesis plays a role, the overall outline of how biomass is being produced. Today is the fifth lecture where the goal of today's lecture will be to give you a complete uh, road map or you can say a guide map for the whole spectrum of bioenergy and we will classify the different part of the map of the different sections what we will be covering in this lecture series. So, let us start the today's lecture, the lecture fifth here. Okay. Lecture 5. Okay. So, today we will be talking about the road map of bioenergy. So, this is today's topic, what we will be dealing with. So, let us move on to the next slide where we will talk about. So, initially what we talked about in our last class is, so the prime source of our energy is sunlight, okay. We talked about it. So, from sunlight or you can call it a, also you can call it a light dependent process. So, we classify it light dependent process and there is another thing we talked about in the last class which is light independent process and the name for that was uh, chemosynthesis in the hydrothermal vents where we kind of completed the last lecture, hydrothermal vents, whereas we talk about light dependent process or photosynthesis. And the light independent process we talked about, the chemosynthesis, okay. These two processes are the major 
source of biomass production. So, this is how all the biomass present on the floor of earth is being produced. Now, <clears throat> this light dependent process what we talk about is basically a process of trapping of solar energy. Okay. Trapping solar energy and this trapping of solar energy depending on the efficiency of trapping you decide how much biomass will be produced. efficiency of trapping will decide what will be the level of biomass okay and <clears throat> this is dictated by whether the plant is c3 or is it a c4 plants it's an algal or bacterial or something else. Okay. So, this section what we are talking about as of now. So, this synthesis process out here, the photosynthesis and chemosynthesis together and the process of biosynthesis of biomass is what we will be dealing with what we talk about the nature of the biomass and the difference biomass biomass resource technology okay biomass production and resources this section we will be dealing in our next fragment which will be section 2 i'm just putting s2 all the conversion process which are involved in photosynthesis and chemosynthesis will be dealing there. So, S1 which we have as of now dealt with, okay. so we have started with coming back, we have as of now we have covered S1, we have introduced about, we have talked about these topics, we have talked about energy to bioenergy. Section 2 will del deal with biomass production and resources as I have shown you and from there we will talk about some of the conversion technologies. So, where we will be talking about uh, conversion of biomass to usable fuel. So, this is the section where we will talk about different form of conversion process which are inspired as I told you in the previous lecture. Many of these inspirations are being drawn from the evolutionary story of formation of coal, formation of fossil fuels deep underneath the earth in the absence of oxygen in high pressure and high temperature those things are being developed in a factory or a industry setting after of course, before that the pilot studies are being conducted in the laboratory trials and they are taken to the pilot plants from there and from there the big industries are being developed which led to the concept of biorefinery and uh, bio based fuel production. So, okay, so, that part will come under broad heading of conversion of biomass to usable fuel. So, let us uh, get back to the slides again. So, here we will be talking about the nature of the biomass resources on different form, nature of the biomass resources in different forms. Okay. From there, we will talk about the, so this part, this section what I just now talked to you 
about the different form of biomass resources and their overall conversion processes and the inspiration will draw from the formation of fossil fuel falls under our section 2. So, section 2 will have two parts, one part will cover back to it. So, this part to this part will cover our section 2, S2, okay. So, you see you could really delineate. So, this is all the way up to S2. From here, we will after the different form of conversions, we will be talking about two different fragments or two different segments, okay. So, you can convert it them, convert different biomass into different kind of fuels which falls under the area of biofuels. It could be biodiesel, it could be bioethanol, it could be other different kind of materials which are highly inflammable and could be used for transportation sector as well as for cooking and for domestic use as well as other industrial use. Apart from it, we will be talking about another series of innovative technologies. So, let us classify in the slides, let us getting back into the slide, what all the two segments we will be dealing at this stage. One segment we will talk about here, biofuels and this biofuel section will be divided into solid, liquid and gas, okay. solid fuels, solid biofuels, liquid biofuels and gaseous biofuel, okay. And the other idea will be bio, so basically while we talk about this conversion, conversion technologies, so here we will be talk about several energy efficiency. And this energy efficiency of conversion will be highlighted by different form of biofuels which will be formed or different form of other energy materials what will be developing. Okay, so, the next will be biopower where we will talk about several innovative technologies. where which includes conversion of biomass into high end once again high end graphene like materials and several other battery material okay high energy high energy value materials So, this will fall under the biopower, whereas the other section will fall under the biofuels. So, our biofuel section is numbered as S3, where we will be covering 3 weeks, 15 classes, what will be dealing with different forms of biofuels and especially all the case studies will be relevant to Indian context, where we will be talking about how you could convert sorghum and millets into biofuels, how we could use different other uh, <clears throat> more um, abundant uh, crop residues into biofuels and so on and so forth and the different uh, st uh, different generations of biofuels what will be involved and the other section which is the biopower section come back to the biopower section. So, this section what I am now kind of encircling will fall under S4 which is the fourth module which we will be covering for 2 weeks, where we will have around 10 lectures, where we will talk about different forms of conversion of getting graphene like materials, using native fibers for energy production, using different kind of dyes available in nature for, uh, for different kind of dye sensitized solar cells and likewise and so on and so forth. So, that will cover our S4. So, there will be 2 weeks we will be devo devoting to it. So, you will have 2 weeks on this and in the biofuel section we will have another 3 weeks what we will be developing on this area, okay. And then we will come to our final segment which is S5 
this segment what we will be dealing with is, so whatever we developed, what one of the most important thing is that consumer market acceptance and sustainability, consumer market acceptability ability and sustainability and next will be we will talk about the new world order of energy economy and then we will introduce the concept of bio refinery and different other product related things which will fall under you know bioelectrical energy systems okay so this is where we will be so this will this is that section where I now I am encircling what will be dealing in the the final week of the course. Okay. So, let us summarize. So, you have week 1, what we have as of now finished S1, where we talked about energy and with respect to bioenergy. So, after this lecture, we will be starting S2, which is the week 2, where we will talk about the biomass synthesis. So, essentially, we will be converting this biomass synthesis following light dependent route and light independent route. Then we will talk about the different bioconversion processes where we are converting different biomass either into biofuels or to different kind of innovative technologies used to make high energy value materials. And then from there we will move on to the consumer market. So, this is the overall layout of the course, what you people needed to grasp. So, we will be walking you through the basics of photosynthesis in our next class, the structure, so plant anatomy. So, if you talk about this section, coming back to the slide, so in this section we will talk about the plant and leaf anatomy. And we will talk about chloroplast, chlorophyll, photosystem 1 and 2. Then we will talk about water splitting complex, which is all part of the photosynthesis and the inspiration drawn out of it and we will talk about the concept of artificial leaf or a artificial solar panel. And from there after once we finish this whole part in section 2, we will move on to the different conversion where we will talk about pyrolysis, gasification likewise, there are several processes where the different con conversions are being done of a native biomass which is being produced. So, this is the overall road map. So, as I told you in the previous slide, so today we will be talking about this particular fragment, the road map of bioenergy systems. So, this is the road map. So, at any point of time, whenever you can kind of get confused that in which area or in which domain this particular aspect falls you always can look through this chart and you can figure out what x, y, z is teaching or what you are learning from a book or a journal where this whole thing falls. Okay? So, that will kind of give you an, because I told you in the very beginning, this is a very vast course, it is a very vast area. So, unless we classify it in the very beginning in the mind of the listener or the reader or those who want to pursue research or want, wants to go to industry if they do not have a very clear picture in their mind that what kind of things we are talking about, then it becomes very confusing and haphazard. So, in order to remove any form of such haphazardness in your brain, 
I just designed this uh, road map for you, which will give you a fairly good idea that whatever you will be reading. And as a matter of fact, these are the areas where for next 50 to 100 years, mankind will be investing enormously and gigantically. And in this, what I was telling you, so we will be talking a little bit about the algae and how algae is such a big resource from the, from the world of the water bodies because you always have to remember a significant portion of the global area is covered with water and which is ocean water and they have a large, large population of algae which are very, very high oil producers. So, we will be talking about them. So, we will talk about the different resources and how the different biofuels and again coming back to the chart, if you talk, talk, talk here. So, how the biofuels, what are the source of biofuels? Is it coming from plant sources or is it coming from bacterial sources? There are several classifications you can do, okay. Or any other microbial sources or it is coming from algal sources. So, the sources will also define the quality of bio, quality of uh, uh, quality of fuel what we are obtaining out of these different sources and what are the conversion efficiency and how it all fits in the bill. Eventually, it has to fit the bill of what is most important out here is the economics that has to that will take a center stage out here that unless these processes are economically feasible, no one is going to really follow these. Okay? So, I will close in this fifth lecture or as well as the concluding lecture of the first week where we started from the concept of energy and we have concluded with the roadmap. So, in the next week, we will be talking with the biomass synthesis using light dependent and light independent route and the different forms of conversion of biomass to usable fuels. Thank you.